How's it going? In this episode, I'm going to attempt a wild camp on a cliff top castle. All right, folks, I've made it. Here it is. You may have to use your imagination a wee bit. Once upon a time, this would have looked like Donotar Castle up in Ayrshire, albeit on a smaller scale, of course. Let's go check it out. So, as you can see here, there's a little concrete bridge. Once upon a time, there would have been a drawbridge coming down over this. It's really is quite dramatic. There's quite a stiff westerly getting whipped around the cliffs. What I'm going to do now is try and find somewhere slightly more sheltered to pitch the tent. This could be here. As long as I don't uh, take up sleepwalking tonight. Alright folks, there we go. Pitched. Looking rather solid. Right, I'm just about ready. Got my sleeping mat blown up and I thought I'd just quickly show you my new sleeping bag. I don't know if you watched my Cairn Gordon trip about four weeks ago. Uh, I asked people to recommend some sleeping bags. Well, I went with one and it's a PhD Hispler 30. And I got it in the sale, but it was still pretty expensive. I had to sell my Alpkit Pipe Dream uh, 600 to part fund this. But it's beautiful though. It really is well made. So it's PhD, which is Peter Hutchinson Designs. And they're a Yorkshire based company, I believe. This is good to minus six, apparently. So you can see there, the zip only goes down to about here. Ideally, if so maybe just came down about another foot or so, maybe about here, it just probably made it that little bit easier. But I could have maybe got that slightly changed you can customise them but nevertheless it is a really nice bag as soon as it's out it lofts if it's 950 fill so uh, I'll report back in the morning if I like it I've got a funny feeling it may be too hot tonight right what I'll do is I'll take a little tour around the castle or the remains of I should say right so there's the tent obviously I've got this big ditch right behind me To the east of me, I have a sheer drop. There you go. <laughs> to the north of me, I have another sheer drop. I'm not getting too close, but you get the idea. And what we'll do is I'll just go down here now. Right, I've actually got a wee bit of shelter here. Which is good. When I was doing a little bit of research in this castle, apparently there's a cave at the bottom where traditionally you could have got access into the castle and I'm wondering if that's where that big ditch is there. It looks like the middle a bit of a staircase here as well. I don't want to get too gallus because it's pretty windy on the other side. Scots 
also stayed at this castle as well. She was obviously passing at one point and dropped in. But <laughs> I think Mary Queen of Scots just about stayed everywhere until she met her end. And this will be about as far as I'm going today. Ooh, down on my hands and knees. They're absolutely beautiful when they die. So you just get a wee bit closer. And it's gone a little bit pixelated. There's another one that flew out of shot. There's two there, three there. Good morning campers. It is currently six o'clock and I'm literally just waiting for the sun to pop up in about half an hour I was rudely awoken by the bin man and then I remembered it wasn't the bin man, it would be a fishing trawler probably below the cliffs so uh, yeah, I just heard this fudding of an engine and then um, it disappeared the sleeping bag was good probably too warm to be honest, I woke up a bit sweaty so uh, I should have just brought my normal sleeping bag, but obviously I wanted to give the new one a run. Uh, the material's a little bit slippy on the mat, but other than that, oh, it's only the first night, but I can't find any fault. I didn't bother bringing any stoves of that with me so I'm just having one of these bad boys for breakfast that'll get me up the road and then go out for breakfast with the missus later on because we're off work this week Right, that's me just about got this tent away It's nice and bone dry, that's good That'd be that nice breeze during the night I'll get up on the line when I get home anyway. I'm only kidding, it's not heavy at all. <laughs> right, other than a flat bit of grass, leave no trace as always. And I've not left any tent pegs kicking about. Not that I can see, I think I've got everything. Let's go. Alright folks, I just need to head back up that hill there and over to the car. Seems like a good point to end the video. If you've watched this far, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers! <laughs>